Front squats are great. They're a fantastic complement to the back squat. And for most people, they work a little bit more of that front half of the body. So they're a very valuable programming tool. However, a lot of lifters really struggle with them because there is one, a stability component, a familiarity component, as well as some mobility stuff specifically at the lat and that wrist area. So today I wanna to show you a fantastic exercise you can regress to. That would be the goblet squat, as well as some foundational mobility work for the wrist and lat to eventually get comfortable in that front rack position with the bar across the torso. Let's do it. All right, so the most obvious regression for the front squat is of course the goblet squat. And I love to do this with my clients, whether or not they're able to front squat or not, I actually just think it's a great movement. But like I said before, it's the disposition of the weight in the front of the body that makes that front squat such an awesome movement. And if you just don't quite have that mobility here yet to get into front rack with the barbell, I found almost everybody can do a goblet squat. So it's very simple. Just starting at the top here, I like to go hand under the lip of the dumbbell on both sides. Then I put the dumbbell right up against my sternum and then simply squatting down, coming up through a full range motion. Just like that, very simple now. If in fact you don't have the mobility to get all the way underneath a bar, I found the best stretch by far for this is to simply find a barbell, set it at the height you would front squat with, take all of your fingers underneath the bar and try to drive that elbow up into a mimicked front squat position. From there, I like to turn away and I even sometimes assist the elbow up, looking for that stretch sensation in that forearm area right here. After I get a good stretch there, I'll often go back the other way, do the same thing on the other side. All right, so super simple. One of the other areas that's very difficult for people who have a hard time front squatting is this lat area. They get real tight through here. So with the barbell right in front of you, the easiest way to get the lat stretched is either one arm at a time or both arm at a time, getting those arms up into uh, flexion and then just dropping the head down like so. After I've done that forearm stretch and I've gotten the lats loosened up, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just hold that front rack position to the best of my ability. I put two fingers right up against where the knurling meets the smooth part of the bar and try again to drive those elbows up. And I'll often work on that in between my sets of goblet squat. So I'm kind of taking the opportunity to work that front squat pattern with the goblet squat, hit the muscles I want to hit. So I'm still getting my desired outcome while I work on my mobility to eventually get to a barbell. I hope you guys found these tips helpful in terms of regressions for the front squat and how to eventually get yourself all the way there. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and thanks again for tuning in to Mind Pump TV.